Helping the city comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act is one of the priorities of the City Council. And up next, we find out what the Public Works Department is doing this summer to help improve and repair curb ramps around the city. The city's working on developing a number of paths, if you will, to improve curb ramps. Public Works is aggressively working to develop a program that will define for us in the coming years how we do curb ramp work. They've aggressively committed to a program involving staff and funds given the constraints that we have to really address this problem. Well, you know, curb ramps uh, eliminate the barrier uh, for uh, pedestrians and people with, with uh, 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 wheelchairs and wagons and carts and things like that. So it's more than just uh, the ADA community that benefit from this. Bicyclists have a much easier go of it too, also. Curb ramps benefit everyone in the community, whether it's a delivery person, parents with strollers or wagons, people with disabilities who need a smoother way of getting up onto a sidewalk from the street or from the sidewalk down to the street. So they really do benefit everybody in the community. It makes a, us a pedestrian friendly community. When we're faced with repairing or replacing a curb ramp, uh, we have to deal with the utility conflicts, uh, the grades of the streets and the adjacent uh, properties. Uh, it gets very you know, complex, uh, but in general terms, we have to remove the old curb ramp uh, come in and uh, form up and add uh, the concrete and the uh, truncated dome warnings uh, and make sure that all that is compliant. We then have to go in and finish up with any uh, work to the surrounding landscape uh, and uh, damage that we may have done there. And also then we have to come back with an additional crew and do the asphalt work to blend the uh, ramp into the street. The city has some very general numbers that we're working with. Uh, including 6 to 8,000 curb ramps throughout the city, whether those are new, older, altered, on altered streets. And of those, again, a very rough estimate of about 90%, 95% that are not compliant, that do need to be addressed in our curb ramp improvement program. With the, the coming of the uh, construction season, there'll be a number of curb ramp improvements, both through our street department, self-performing uh, works associated with our overlay work and future overlay work and uh, private contractors. The city is working with several different community groups to figure out how best to use the funds that we have so that we can prioritize those areas and make the best determination where the greatest good can occur.